arithmetic progression. In this module, you will learn about arithmetic progression. After completing MBA, Gurpreet started looking for job. She got an offer from a good company. The salary offered to her was 55,000 rupees per month with an annual increment of a fixed amount of rupees 5,000. She expected a salary of 1 lakh rupees. She wants to know in which year she'll get 1 lakh rupees if she joins this company. For the first year, she gets 55,000. For the second year, she will get 60,000. For the third year, 65,000. For the fourth year, 70,000. The salary will go on increasing in the same manner if she continues working with this company and it will look like this. We can see that in the 10th year after joining, she will get 1 lakh rupees per month. Let's focus on these numbers written over here. 55,000 is the amount she started with and every year 5,000 is added to get the new salary. So, these are the numbers written in a pattern that follows a specific rule. These kinds of patterns are called sequences. Here, it is easy to see how this sequence is formed. It started with a particular first term and then to get successive terms, we just add a fixed value to the previous term. So, the difference between consecutive terms in each sequence is constant. This difference between consecutive terms is called common difference. And any sequence with this property is called an arithmetic progression or AP in short. In this sequence, there is only finite number of terms that we have to calculate till she gets rupees 1 lakh as salary. These kinds of arithmetic progressions with finite number of terms are called finite AP. Now think that Gurpreet is not looking for a job. And after completing her MBA, she starts a business with an investment of rupees 55,000. She has decided that with the beginning of new financial year, she will increase her investment by rupees 5,000. After retirement, she handed over the business to the following generation and asks them to increase the investment in the same manner. And then, next generation and then next generation. If this keep on going like this and never stops, we can't say how many terms will be there. Such progressions with infinite terms are called infinite arithmetic progressions. If we denote the first term by A1, second term by A2, third term by A3, and so on, then the arithmetic progressions will be A1, A2, A3, and so on. Here, the common difference D is equal to A2 minus A1 equal to A3 minus A2. If we say there are n terms in this AP, then D is equal to nth terms minus n minus 1th term. Let's recap. An arithmetic progression AP is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed numbers D to the preceding term except the first term A. The fixed number D is called common difference. For an arithmetic progression A1, A2, A3 and so on, the common difference D is equal to nth term minus n minus 1th term.